A woman pulled up to a red light behind another vehicle. The man in front of her was speaking on his cell phone and shuffling through some papers in the passenger seat next to him. Oh, when the light turned green, he didn't notice because he was so preoccupied with what he was doing. Well, the woman behind him got furious. She began pounding her steering wheel and screaming at the man, but still he didn't move. As each second went by, the woman got more and more infuriated. She was screaming at him and cursing at him and beating her steering wheel and dashboard even harder. Well, then the light turned yellow, and the woman began beeping her car horn repeatedly and screaming and flailing her arms. And the man finally noticed the commotion, and he looked up and saw the yellow light, and he accelerated through the intersection just as it was turning red. Well, now the woman was just beside herself because she missed the opportunity to get through the intersection, and now she's going to have to sit through another red light. And so she's sitting in her car just fuming. And then she notices a knock or a tap on her window. She looks over and it's a police officer. And the officer tells her to shut off her engine and get out of the car. Well, he proceeds to arrest her and take her down to the police station and book her. And he placed her in a jail cell. And she remains there for a couple of hours. And finally, the officer has her come back to the desk and he returns her belongings to her. And then he apologizes, and he says, ma'am, I'm, I'm very sorry for the mistake, but when I, I pulled up behind you and you were in such a rage, and then I looked at the back of your car, and you had this bumper sticker that said, follow me to Sunday school, and you had one of those chrome-plated fish symbols for Christianity, and you had another bumper sticker that said, choose life, and when I saw how you were just out of control in your car seat, the only conclusion I could come to was that you must have stolen that car from somebody else. We Christians need to remember that people are watching us all the time. And I know we're not going to conduct ourselves like perfect angels 24 hours a day. But even so, as we go about this life and we're confronted with all kinds of tests and trials to our faith, we need to remember that everywhere we go, we're to bear witness to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching, and be kind.